Welcome to a journey into the abyss where the ocean's darkest secrets lie. Beneath the waves far beyond the reach of sunlight lies a world of mystery and terror. Join me if you dare, as we plunge into the abyss and come face to face with the terrifying ocean secrets scientists discovered. For centuries, sailors have whispered tales of monstrous creatures lurking in the deepest trenches of the ocean. Legends called it the Kraken, a beast capable of dragging ships and their crews to watery graves. Today we know this mythical beast as the giant squid, Architeuthis ducks. This elusive creature can grow to truly gargantuan sizes, with some estimates suggesting lengths of over 60 feet. The giant squid's eyes, as large as dinner plates, are the largest in the animal kingdom, perfectly adapted for life in the abyss. Scars on sperm whales, their primary predator, tell a story of epic battles waged in the abyss, a constant reminder of the terrifying power that lurks beneath the waves. In the abyssal plains where the sun's light never penetrates, the environment is both mysterious and foreboding. A macabre ballet plays out in the eternal darkness, a dance of survival and death. Here the anglerfish, a master of deception, lies in wait for its unsuspecting prey, blending seamlessly with the inky blackness. Protruding from its head is a long, fleshy filament, tipped with a bioluminescent lure that glows eerily in the dark. Small fish, drawn to the light as moths to a flame, venture too close, unaware of the danger that lurks in the shadows, mesmerized by the glowing beacon. With lightning-fast reflexes the anglerfish strikes its gaping maw snapping shut, trapping its prey in a watery coffin, sealing their fate. The bioluminescent lure once a beacon of hope becomes a death knell, luring the unsuspecting to their doom, a cruel twist of nature. The male, a fraction of the size of the female, attaches himself to her body, fusing his flesh with hers, providing sperm in exchange for nutrients, a bizarre yet fascinating symbiosis. In the murky depths, where sunlight fades to an eerie twilight, lives a creature so bizarre, so seemingly out of place, that it's been dubbed the Goblin Shark. This elusive denizen of the deep, a living fossil virtually unchanged for millions of years, seems to have emerged from the depths of a prehistoric nightmare. Unlike the rows of fixed teeth found in most sharks, the Goblin Shark possesses a jaw that can extend outwards with startling speed and ferocity. Picture this. A goblin shark, lurking in the dim light, senses its prey. Suddenly its jaw shoots forward, like a horrifying fleshy slingshot, snatching the unsuspecting fish from the water column. Rows of needle-like teeth, perfect for spearing and impaling, ensure the prey has little chance of escape. Imagine a world devoid of sunlight, a world of crushing pressure and perpetual darkness. Scattered across the ocean floor, like oases in an underwater desert, are hydrothermal vents. These fissures in the Earth's crust spew forth superheated water, rich in chemicals and minerals, creating an environment unlike anything found elsewhere on our planet. Giant tube worms, anchored to the seafloor, sway gently in the currents, their feathery plumes filtering bacteria from the water. Blind crabs, their bodies covered in a thick mat of hair-like setae, scuttle across the seabed scavenging for food. The discovery of life around deep-sea hydrothermal vents revolutionized our understanding of the requirements for life itself. In the twilight zone of the ocean, where the faintest glimmer of sunlight fades into perpetual darkness, reigns the vampire squid. Unlike its namesake, the vampire squid does not feast on blood. Imagine, if you will, a creature with a velvety black cloak, studded with rows of bioluminescent photophores that can be flashed in mesmerizing patterns. The vampire squid's most striking feature is its namesake, a pair of long, retractable filaments tipped with fleshy spines that resemble a vampire's cape. When threatened, the vampire squid retreats into its cloak, its arms and webbed filaments enveloping its body, creating a spiky bioluminescent ball. This defensive posture, coupled with its ability to squirt bioluminescent mucus, confuses predators, allowing the vampire squid to disappear into the darkness. Imagine a creature seemingly plucked from the pages of prehistoric history, a creature that has remained virtually unchanged for millions of years. This is the frilled shark, a serpent-like denizen of the deep, whose very existence seems to defy the relentless march of time. The frilled shark's most striking feature and the source of its name is the series of frilled gills that adorn its throat, six on each side. 
Its body, long and slender like an eel's is perfectly adapted for life in the deep. Its jaws, lined with rows of needle-like teeth, are designed for seizing prey and swallowing it whole. Each tooth is equipped with three backward-pointing cusps, ensuring that once caught the prey has little chance of escape. In the inky blackness of the deep ocean, where sunlight never penetrates, lives a creature so fierce, so otherworldly in its appearance, that it's earned the name Black Dragonfish. This predator of the abyss, a master of bioluminescence, uses its own body as a weapon, luring unsuspecting prey to their doom. Running along its underside is a series of photophores, light-producing organs that emit a red bioluminescence. This red light, invisible to most deep-sea creatures, allows the black dragonfish to illuminate its prey without alerting them to its presence. With lightning-fast reflexes the black dragonfish strikes, its jaws snapping shut trapping the prey in a watery tomb. The black dragonfish, its body a tapestry of darkness and bioluminescent light, disappears back into the abyss. In the abyssal plains, where the ocean floor stretches out in a vast, featureless expanse, lives a creature that seems to embody the very essence of the deep, the giant isopod. This desolate environment, devoid of sunlight and teeming with mystery, is home to one of nature's most fascinating scavengers. This colossal crustacean, a relative of the pill bugs we find in our gardens, has evolved to thrive in one of the harshest environments on Earth. Its armored body and segmented shell provide protection against the crushing pressure of the deep sea. Giant isopods can grow to over 16 inches in length, their size a testament to the phenomenon of deep sea gigantism. This remarkable growth is an adaptation that allows them to store more energy and survive longer periods without food. These scavengers of the deep, equipped with powerful mandibles and a keen sense of smell, roam the ocean floor in search of food. They feed on the remains of dead marine animals, playing a crucial role in the deep sea ecosystem by recycling nutrients. In the deep sea where food is scarce and meals are few and far between, the giant isopod has adapted to conserve energy, slowing its metabolism and entering a state of dormancy. This ability to endure long periods without nourishment is key to its survival in such an unforgiving habitat. Descend with me now into the midnight zone, a realm of perpetual darkness where the pressure is immense and the water is frigid. Here in this alien world, we encounter creatures of ethereal beauty and otherworldly grace, the deep-sea jellyfish. Unlike their shallow water relatives, which often rely on the sun's rays to illuminate their bodies, deep-sea jellyfish possess their own bioluminescence, transforming the abyss into a mesmerizing light show. Some species, like the Atolla jellyfish, resemble glowing spaceships, their bioluminescence rippling across their bodies in mesmerizing waves. These gelatinous predators, armed with stinging tentacles, drift through the darkness, their bioluminescence luring unsuspecting prey. In the twilight zone where sunlight dwindles to a faint glimmer, lives a fish so bizarre so seemingly out of place that it seems to defy our very understanding of the natural world. This mysterious region, located between 200 and 1,000 meters below the ocean surface, is home to many strange and wonderful creatures, but none quite as enigmatic as the barrel eye fish. This is the barrel eye fish, a creature whose transparent head and upward facing eyes have captivated and baffled scientists for decades. Its unique anatomy has evolved to thrive in the dimly lit depths, where it hunts for food and avoids predators. Imagine, if you will, a fish with a dome shaped transparent head like a fighter pilot's cockpit, through which you can see its brain and other internal organs. This remarkable adaptation allows the barrel eye to gather as much light as possible in its dark environment. These emerald green orbs encased in fluid-filled capsules are directed upwards, allowing the fish to scan the water column above for prey. This unique positioning of the eyes gives the barrel eye a distinct advantage in spotting bioluminescent organisms that drift overhead. Recent research has revealed that the eyes can rotate within their transparent shields, allowing the fish to track prey as it moves overhead. This rotational ability is crucial for the barrel eye's survival, enabling it to keep a constant watch on potential food sources. Its transparent head may help it to ambush prey, allowing it to blend in with the surrounding water and approach its victims undetected. This stealthy hunting technique combined with its extraordinary vision, 
makes the barrel eye fish one of the most fascinating predators of the deep sea. These are just a few of the many horrors lurking in the depths of our oceans. Their very existence challenges our understanding of life itself, reminding us that we have only just begun to scratch the surface of the ocean's mysteries. Thank you for joining us on this deep sea adventure. And remember, the next time you look out at the ocean, spare a thought for the creatures that lurk beneath the waves, in the cold, dark depths where the abyss awaits.